with Mike the Ref Maloney, Big Bad Boris on the call here tonight. It's Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let the Super Kick Party! Yeah, pay the money for that. No one. And of course, you gotta get the coffin skin. Hey, yo, 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 and away we go. Happy Saturday night to one and all here as we uh, hop into the AEW Collision Sidecast for tonight. It's going to be a fun night. We got uh, two great hours of wrestling coming up here tonight, followed by uh, we're going to have our WWE 2K24 WrestleMania for my GM Season 2 coming up tonight. Got five great matches on the card there. Got some great rivalries that we're settling up here and getting everything finished off. But yeah, I hope everybody's having a great Saturday here and just uh, just a good time to chill, a good time for everybody. A good news from Swerve this week. Uh, he sort of dropped a hint that, uh, that AEW is going to Fox. On the same night, he announced, he sort of gets that info out the same time that SmackDown's on, so it's going to be a fun week. Like, the little bickers back and forth, I don't mind. It's when they start getting a little more serious, drives me a little nuts. But, uh, yeah, tonight, actually, I pull up the card for once. We got actually Jetty of Brody King. That's based off a match last night at Collision. Or, sorry, at Rampage last night where actually Jenny actually provoked the bear and Brody just wanted to kill him and he basically just got saved by uh, Top Flight at the end of that. Jack Perry's open challenge. Not sure where we're going to go with that. Beast Mortos, Hologram, and Jalistico in a three-way trios? Yes, please. Soraya and Jamie Hayter in a Soraya's Rules match, which basically, it's one of those uh, all the rules apply to you, not to me kind of deal. Uh, the Learning Tree versus the Conglomeration Tornado Tag Rules. Just an excuse to beat up all around the building here. Then uh, Jared versus Hangman in a strap match. That will be a lot of fun because literally they're inviting everybody that's ever pissed off Hangman to ringside to, to whip the living heck out of him. We'll, we'll see how that goes. Then uh, the saga of the BCC continues, whether they're being called that anymore. With uh, Pac, Claudio, and Wheeler taking on Commander and Private Party. Which I believe Quen's the one that has four fingers damaged. Well, we'll have to see how that goes. And apparently our main event tonight is going to be Okada versus Guevara. In a... In a contenders match for the Continental Championship. Hey, Jay Quick. Good to see you today. Good to see everybody popping in. It's going to be a fun night tonight, I think. I am going to admit, I think that our 2K card is going to be a little bit more exciting. Just because we're getting WrestleMania, they're getting a pre-taped collision. Now, once again, I, want, I, I know I crapped on them before, but shout out to TSN for their multi-view on their desktop uh, website. Because literally, I'm watching two football games and a lacrosse game and as we're waiting for for a Collision to show up here. So, Oh, and one other note I wanted to bring up before we get going to the show here. Uh, my review of the McMahon documentary, if you didn't get a chance to watch it all, I it is going to be available tomorrow morning, start at 10 Eastern, 8 a.m. Mountain uh, on our uh, YouTube channel. So I'll put the link in the chat right now. Uh, 
I did redo the last part of it, including episode six and the uh, overall thoughts on it at the end. We just got so rushed with, with uh, Dynamite that I didn't get a chance to do a proper ending for it. So I figure I'd do it myself. So, but yeah, it's, it was a very interesting watch to say the least. Six hours that I'd recommend people cut half of it out of their life, but other than that, if any of you have had a chance to check things out, let me know. Ooh, we got some lag going on here. Sorry, just checking the uh, checking the lag that's coming down here. Got a little bit, a few skip frames here and there. So, how's the picture coming up for you guys? Okay, no issues. Seems like it's going all right, but. It's six hours, you can't get back, yeah. Unfortunately, that's what I felt on a lot of it myself, so. I, I think for us people that have watched a lot of wrestling, it, uh, it really doesn't uh, work for us a whole lot. Just because we, we, we know this stuff. They're talking about... Let me get everything set up here properly. There we go. Uh, yeah, they're talking about the Attitude Era. They're talking about the Ruthless Aggression Era. They're talking about the 2810s that absolutely sucked. Well, the video showed up late. That's great. And Bruce Pitt, yeah, Pritchard, the first part for me just... This proved two things to me. Bruce Pritchard... And the other one was uh, Steve Austin, unfortunately, who doesn't believe it. Uh, I on, honestly, it feels like ugh. sorry, I completely jumped thought here as everything came out here. Here's Soraya, hold this hell. <laughs> I give you that. This is gonna be fun. So I'm gonna do one more here. But yeah, that this match here, you get. I'd like to know how these got taped in order uh, as they were going along. Well, Sarah, you resigned. This is your gift. Isn't that what it was supposed to be? Well, I'd expect Nigel not to be on commentary tonight. Me and Rick Abani was on there as a replacement. Because this is the same night that he was... I love the fact that uh, it's technically going to be a handicap match, but I can see somebody who's afraid of Soraya 
end up uh, showing up to beat her ass. But yeah, you're going to get Ripakani tonight just because Nigel was in that match with uh, Danielson just an hour before this was taped, right? I almost feel this might be... She just got hit with a... Hater just got nailed with a VCR. Now all the keyboard warriors get to see... Well, I wouldn't say that. What? Just a one count and Saray is having a having a moment here. Please be kind to rewind. I I, I think there's a better way of putting that there, but that's okay. Try, try to rewind their friendship, maybe? I don't know. Give her the Homer Simpson there. Atta boy, Bernard. <laughs> ha! Good old gimmicks. Smack to the head with a frying pan. Always love it. Hey, Snow Penguin. Thank you for popping in. 15 show streak. Yeah, we're having a good stream here tonight. We're watching a little AEW. We'll be uh, back with 2K, WWE 2K24 uh, after. Probably around 8.15. Oh, Jesus. And here comes the pipe. Well, we're getting a couple hardcore matches tonight, so I, I find it interesting that they're starting with this one. Oh, my God, not the toy cars. I I love uh I love Ripicotti trying to sell it like die cast metal. Now, if I remember the rules correctly as we were going through this, isn't uh sh shouldn't hater be getting counted out here? Because haters not allowed to, uh... Nice reversal of the power slab. I wonder who's going through that table. I'm assuming it's going to be Harley. Oh no. That'll hurt somebody's back when they land to the Yeah, uh oh. No, 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 no. Oh, they're gonna do the hands. All right. 
I didn't realize falls count anywhere here. How do you know the rules? No, she'll get it at seven, hit the DET, still kick out at two. There's that Rampage DET. I know she doesn't call that Abor, but... Tony probably put it through his contract. It's Tony's rules. Eh. <laughs> so what do we got set up here? Going to go for a power bomb on the chair. Well, that was an awkward uh, senton. It's more of a spear with your head first. Damn. I guess the crowd's cheer for JB right now. Oh, geez. I thought JB was allowed to use chairs. Yep. That's it. She's not allowed to use the rip card, though. Okay. All right, that was about as definitive as you could get. Not bad for a first match. You knew, you knew uh, JB Hayter was going to win this one regardless. You just got to try and figure out how they're going to do it. Menard is firing up big time here. Sorry, I didn't read the fine print. That's hilarious. Oh, they showed that full interview they did? You notice Ricochet's wearing uh, a T'Challa necklace? I love that. I, I love how they put that that way. So now we get the tornado tag match, which... What the hell is that? Let me just throw that out there immediately.
Just try to see if a few things, see if the video's going okay. Seems to be going okay, just a little grainy at this point. Yeah, this trios match, I don't know what. The only thing that's going to save it, it's sort of the same thing when we do 2K24. We do uh, the trios match. We usually try to do it this way. That way we don't have to worry about people coming in and breaking the cover every two minutes. Okay, so yeah, they're just... And you almost feel like it should have ended with all this breakdown like this. Like Orange Cassidy beat Jericho. That, that's the ultimate thing we got to worry about here. And that's what we're hoping, right? There we go, we're underway. Oh yeah, here we go, pure six right off the bat. That's sort of expected at this point. Orange still has his backpack on. Oh, there's the Royal Quarters. Cassie used the backpack as a weapon. So what's he got in there that he used for a weapon? It literally is a brick. <laughs> I'm just going to throw this out here right now. Your father was a bricklayer and your mama wore army boots. All right, Keith getting his moment here. And of course that disappears. Let me get this back on screen. Well, let's say this match is, I don't know. We'll have to see because Jericho's only gonna have a little piece of it, right? Oh God, Briscoe just got folded onto that chair. All right, we had our first commercial break here. Fit, picture, picture one here. Forgive me, chat. I just want to see what's going on here because it looks like Looks like the video's crap right now for some reason. Oh, I'm guessing false numbers, I guess. Sorry, I get paranoid because I got numbers going off the roof saying that my, uh, that I'm losing 
losing frames all the time here, but that could just be the recording part of it, which I could live with. I could fix that later. But uh, yeah, the way things are going here with Jericho and that, I just, who knows what we're going to get out of this. I'm more worried about what we're going to get out of that jacket from the MXM collection. They took back Caster's jacket there, so. And of course, Keith wants to go for a dive and Orange just does this usual roll out of the way. Oh God, that Bill Boot was good night, nurse. Problem is, everybody loves Big Bill. Of course, Big Bill's too much, man. That'll work. Well, you can have as much regular kung fu as you want, but a big bill's got a... Oh, Bill hit the post. Shivani's having a hard time keeping up tonight without Nigel. You knew the second he was grabbing the chair that way that was going to happen. They get to do it together. Nice sell off the chair there. And Big Bill just said, nope, we're not doing that no more. Oh God. Yeah. I love hearing Rick Abadi on here. I know there's been a lot of accusations and whatnot. You can tell there was an edit there, right? Oh, yep. I, I love how they keep bringing up the Ring of Honor World Champion. I don't think he's defended it in a while. We just had a table in the last match. I believe this is what we call a Damadillo moment. I see here.
So I know where the drop frames are coming from. It's the, uh, the, the enhanced encoding is just not catching up right now, so. Might be a Twitch problem, not a me problem for once. Oh God. Now that table is Bill's problem. And Bill wins Jericho the match. What the hell is that? Another continuation of the story, right? with a pipe wrench. At least he's smart that way. All right, I think we're good now. We're good? Yeah, I think we're good. Yeah, I don't know what happened there earlier, chat. Sorry about that. Just, uh, it kept telling me that we, uh, we kept dropping frames because the encoder screwed up, which is going to happen. It's an experimental system still, this uh, encoder lag. So, Yeah, I just had to, uh, I literally just had to restart the stream over again just because I was having some problems there. So welcome back, everybody. Good to see everyone. Uh, yeah, so far two matches in, a little bit of stupidity, which doesn't really surprise me. What do we got now? Ah, Brody and Action Andretti. I'm hoping they show the video from yesterday just to make it make sense for a lot of people here. Because, yeah, it, it was so stupid how it worked out, but... Actually, Jenny throws a water bottle because he's pissed off about how everything's going. And now he's got, now he's got to deal with this guy. I'm surprised that Master Lock doesn't give uh, Actually, Jenny uh, or give Brody King a sponsorship for that necklace there. I love how uh, when the they're not in a match, uh, Top Flight's actually in the uh, in the black bomber jackets instead. They got the full gimmick going here. Absolutely love that. It totally is like the. Ribicotti's absolutely correct. It's almost a fight that you don't almost wish he wouldn't have taken because you know he's going to get destroyed. I'd expect this match not to go too long tonight.
Shooting star gets him a half count. That sounds about right. Sorry about the extra ad, guys. When I had to cut off stream and restart it. Oh, God. I'm just glad that nice block out of there. Andretti gets some decent shots in here, but. Oh, God. The flying nothing turns into death. Simple death. Brody's all over it tonight. Frankly, when you're dealing with a guy like Brody King, well, this was academic. But if you're dealing with a guy like Brody King, you got to try and survive the tide and hope he makes a mistake. The problem with Brody King is he rarely makes mistakes. Even top flights, like, no. I, I love that the co he's go. Okay. I'm here for this combination. The Righteous and Archer? The fact that the Righteous are getting more TV time. I will live with that. I hate to say it, but I think Dante's injured again. After that last dive. All right, Tia said, smarten up with your feed here. Oh, they're showing Omega footage. Nope, Barry, never mind. I thought that was Japan, not, not New York. My bad. My bad for not knowing American destinations. I love this Blade Runner music too. Or Blade Runner vibes at least. So mark me if I'm wrong here, chat. Did they use AJ Styles new theme as the promo video promo video back video for uh Hangman Page's promo? that they did up last week. Perry just parks by the dumpster. I love the new pants. It's got the goat on the pants there like that. Nice blood red. I almost wonder who they're going to get. Because you know it's not going to be a huge surprise because let's face it, this was a tape show. Bully face LaGreca heel. Somebody get that sign out of there now. And I don't mean now, I mean right now. Why 
Watch it be Serpentico or somebody. Um. 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 Perry, you're in a bit of trouble here. Somebody's fucked up with the music, too. <laughs> well, yeah, Menard, you, that's right, you were in the ring one time with them. I love the design on the belt, by the way, if I haven't mentioned that before. I love that they managed to get Monero in for one special night here. Even Aubrey's like, yeah, no, I don't want to get involved in this right now. Ha 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 I love Suzuki. Murder Grandpa back at AEW once. Jack trying to Jack failing. This is not good. Didn't you learn anything from the match with Jericho? Like, seriously, the match with Jericho should have explained a whole lot about that. I do like that Suzuki is the special special opponent because he's special enough to feel special, but at the same time, a lot of people aren't going to I'll blow it out of proportion because it's not that it has to be really spoiled. Shot to the back. And of course, here comes picture, picture as we go. I'd almost like to see somebody special come over from New Japan into the C2 this year. Don't get me wrong, we're not short of athletes that can fit it, but having uh, somebody from New Japan coming over for the C2, similarly the way that we sent Takeshita over to uh, New Japan for their G1, It would get a little extra fervor to that pay-per-view in uh, in January with AEW and New Japan, that crossover show. I love how Suzuki's got a simple leg lock on both of them just by using his hands there. You knew with the fact that we got like, what is it, seven or eight matches tonight? Not a lot of these are going to take a lot of time overall. 
I would assume each of these are going to be like 10 minute spots at most. And so far, that's what we've mostly gotten so far. The women's match was, what, 10 minutes? The uh, six man tornado was maybe five minutes. We're probably going to get a little bit of extra time for the. Uh, for the trios title match and then also for the main event as they've gone from picture picture to full full commercial great uh love technology this is a pre-recorded show which is even worse like if it wasn't a pre-recorded show i wouldn't mind it as much but they had time to fix this they just didn't go back and take a look at it Drives me absolutely bonkers here. But yeah, once again, thank you everybody for stopping by here tonight. I truly do appreciate it. Uh, I will probably be on tomorrow morning sometime with... Uh, let's see here. Yeah, no, I'll probably be on here with tomorrow morning. We're going to try to get some fighting games in before... Uh, football starts since the bills play at night this week uh we'll play another we'll do another early stream and then as long as i get all my editing done on uh sunday for what i need early this week i should be able to stream monday night so Don't attack Suzuki in the head or the chest. That's how you fix a problem. Go straight for the eyes. That makes a lot of sense. Gotcha, pile driver. Oh, nice our bar of the ropes here. So that's Suzuki doesn't do a lot of. My answer would have been go ask him. If I if I was uh So how is that not a DQ? Oh, so it's a shot in the side, so it doesn't count as a DQ. Okay, we'll, we'll go with that. Not exactly the smartest thing in the world, but... I love how Perry says, count him out, but then just lets it be, right? So you're going to count both these guys out? And there's your tag count. Cheesy AF. Cheesy AF.
I'd be booing Perry myself. So I do know that uh, there were a lot of reviews coming in from the show. And they basically said that this, sh this show wasn't great. Now I can see sort of why so far. Hello. And Shibata knows that he doesn't have to sprint because there ain't that much of a diff distance, but... So we're going to get Shibata and Perry. I'll take that match. Shibata versus Perry? That, that to me could be a very good story to tell. Oh, so the trio... Oh, I got the hug going on. As we hit the commercial break here once again. Uh, let me throw one up just because we are going to get one coming up in five minutes, whether we like it or not. So if I do it now, we don't have to worry about it later. So let me just put the ad on here and we'll... I'd rather get the opportunity for everybody to watch everything together rather than trying to piece it together while... They uh, they have their commercials, we have our commercials, and then nobody can talk about anything. But yeah, it's... Tonight has been some decent action. I'm not going to say it's been great, but it's been decent. And it really does show why that a lot of people said that this show was mid at best. Makes me interested to see what's going to come up here with this trios match. Whether Wheeler's just going to show up, do his stuff, and leave. Or are we going to get something a little more substantial out of it? And then, yeah, I, for everything else coming up on the card, I don't see anything too overly spectacular in terms of what's going to be go coming up here. Like things you can expect to be weird or different. Jared and Hagman, it's going to be brutal. We all know that. Literally, we got the MXM left. We got the three-way lucha match, which will be 10 minutes of insanity. We got the trios championship match, which we got here. We got Okada and uh, Guevara. So we're either going to do uh, Guevara and Okada as the main, or we're going to do the strap match as the main. Either way, I'd be happy. But once again, it just doesn't feel like... There isn't a lot to feel in this show this week. Almost feels like there's a little bit of a, a little bit of hiccup in the schedule here. We we got essentially two weeks from uh, today, or yeah, two weeks from today is uh, Wrestle Dream. So we're gonna be into this panic booking one one more time that TK is doing all so well these days. The uh, where he's gonna have to put down. An entire 10 match card over the period of the next 14 days I, I, I'm gonna be happy once this wrestle dreams done and we get a month basically to flesh out something like I get it you can put a story together very quickly but at the same time I'd like to have a little substance to my stories before I watch them all right here we go so they're using Claudio's music for the entrance of this one. Nice rig jacket, Claudio.
Wheeler's gonna come out running out saying, sorry, I'm late. And Wheeler comes out the other entrance. I like that. <laughs> I love Rick Abadi on this one. He's like, yeah, I really know what's going on, but I don't. Now, this should be a quick match as soon as you get Marquette in there. I think it's Marquette that... Oh, it's Isaiah with the bad hand. I love this with Ian here where the fact that he gives the extra analysis. How Claudio's not used to dealing with high flyers the way that he really should. Nice drop kick. Nice move by Claudio there. Menard played up the heel just fine right now. Claudio or Yuna's just sitting there. He doesn't even care if he gets in. And Yuna just said nope. Well, he asked to in order to make it official, so unfortunately he has to show up. Don't you don't you guys remember what happened to Switchblade Jay White when he didn't show up? Menard's basically in self-preservation mode. That's all he's doing with this. Nice double stomp. It's a two on one with a placeholder. That's all it is right now. So basically it's a two on two. Oh, God. Nope. Not today. I'm a professional. I'm, a, I'm getting paid whether I'm doing anything or not. If everybody gets along on that team, I'm going to hate them that much more.
different sport. So in another sport, they actually allow you to use a plastic bag to choke out your teammate. You notice Marquette didn't go after Yuta because he doesn't need to? Seems that fist is working out pretty good right now. Oh God. Isaiah didn't draw Isaiah didn't hang on to the rope. That sucks. Claudio had to eat that rope. Very nice DDT there. Well, that fixed that up in a hurry. Well, at least the bots have showed up tonight, so. You're just like, nope, we're, I ain't doing it. I love the fact that everybody remembers Yuta's legal here. I love how Yuta just stayed right out of the way. Now, now you tag out. Now you tag out, Yuta. Don't slap Yuta. He's trying to play nice. Yuta's lost it, and Claudio and Packer smiling. And there's the bell. Now, if he just wouldn't have slapped him in the face, he would have been fine. Seriously. Should have just taken his time and not... Now he just walks away. All righty, we got some VHS footage. Let's go. Please just say it's not the same VHS footage. Uh, 
I gotta love the cheaters. Okay. I guess it'd be a Coney Island little film, right? All right. Oh, this is going to be fun. So Hologram hasn't lost yet. This is probably going to be his biggest challenge yet. One minute time limit. So we got hologram, we got the beast mortal, so we got Drillistico. Drillistico, a bit of a wild card of this one. We haven't seen a lot of them here. Here we go, Drillistico. Oh, another member of LFI, okay. Okay, so kudos to AEW for doing this. This is the best way to show off that Hispanic heritage here in, in AEW. Throw three of the best ones in there. Now, there was a bombshell on the local wrestling scene here dropped this morning that we found out the Beast Mortos is coming in for uh, Tough Town Pro Wrestling on October 18th. He's going to be joining uh, Kurt Angle, who's going to be a special guest at the show. And who knows at this point? It just seems like everybody's just unloading everything they can here in terms of creating some exciting shows here and i guess the fans are being the the ones to reap the benefits more than anybody else i love rick Abani. he just knows all this stuff Would appreciate to see him on my AEW screen a little bit more, but having him Ring of Honor is definitely a good help. It's going to be a Tierra's factory here. Flying Arm Ringer by Mortos. I love that. And Mortos just said no to that. Dralistico a little one step behind. I think that was supposed to be a, a three-way roll-up. A little bit of a standoff here. Mortos being smart as well. He is a lawyer after all. Flipped over the top. Oh, freedom! Oh, 
Paul Graham just with a straight out bullet. I've hated that move for the longest time here. Because you're just going straight forward into somebody. That's just not going to work out well. As we hit our picture in picture once again here. So we just over an hour in and we just have the MXM segment. We have the strap match and we have Okada and Perry. So I could see how uh, I could see how the spacing on these two matches are going to go. I wonder how much time that MXM uh, preview is going to get. I'd assume they get maybe five minutes. And that's it. But. Well, we'll see, but. So just as a quick programming note for next week, I don't know when they're doing collision. Are they going to do collision the same time as bad blood? Because even though WWE is pushing up their start time, they're still going to be running the back end of their pay-per-view to coincide where the normal time collision is. I don't think Tony Khan's announcing anything about it quite yet, just because, well, hell, we got... He, he doesn't want anybody to counter-program anything once again, like happened last time he did it. For those that aren't familiar, they started... Uh, because of uh, the lot, I think it was SummerSlam that they started at five o'clock, so they moved up to three o'clock. The WWE just said, "Okay, well, we'll just have a two-hour pre-show. Just try to take advantage of the whole situation, right?" So, Sorry about that chat. Just got to get some beverages in me here tonight. We got to get ready for a long night of wrestling here. But I really wonder what's going to happen with Collision here. Is it going to get moved? Is it going to... Could Collision move to Fridays? Is Shockwave going to be considered the second show once we get going here? Once they once they announce the TV deal and what they plan on, we might be making some adjustments here. We'll see how things go, but like if they're gonna, I'll tell you right now, if anything moves to Friday, unfortunately, we're not gonna be able to cover it, just because every second Friday I'm not available. It's bad enough the next three weeks. We're going to have to do three three double tapings of uh, our 2K24 run. For season three, it's going to be going through in a breeze here. Wow. That's right. He is a brother of Roosh. I forgot about that part. Here into the moon. That was a little awkward, but we'll take it. Was it okie dokie? We don't know what we're doing here, but we'll do it anyway. Not that we don't know what we're doing. It's just we sort of overshot what we were supposed to do. Who are you to doubt El Dandy? They actually threw out the Bret Hart reference tonight. That's pretty awesome. All right, Fly Tiaris from the top rope. I'll, I'll give him that one. 
Like we said, this is going to be 10 minutes of insanity here. Mortals just be in the post that he needs to be. How can you tell if he's not breathing? Well, I guess the chest. Lung blower off the top. Okay, that sucked. Why did you move him? That was a little obvious, but that's okay. Well, I guess we'll deal with it. Oh yeah, there it is, Poison Rada. Crucifix Bob? Jesus! All right, now they're all down. I love the fact that they're trying to sell the uh they're they're trying to sell everybody being down or a double down when it didn't when they missed it by about four spots there. Ready to backbreaker and a discus lariat. You still want to keep. Backbreaker on knee, that's got to suck. And a destroyer, just let's pop one of those out randomly. The discus lariat. All right, Jalistico, you're done. Don't get me wrong, I love the match. Like, he's got Lucha Libre is supposed to be like this. But they're using that crucifix as a finisher. He has more than a horseshoe, he has a horse. And Roosh is pissed. Time to get LFI put on the right. The hell did hologram do that for? Well, hologram just found himself an enemy. LFI back in gear. I'll take that. To hell with Callus, let's put that together.
Okay. I love the fact that uh, Stack kept staring down the entire time that old that whole promo. Oh goody, we get we get a fashion show now. It's the power of the tips. Touching tips and winning championships. See, when I do that, I get dust all over my pants. Uh, Ribicani. Oh, you know. Oh, you know. I'm just going to throw a few of those out right now just for the hell of it. Oh, Ribicotti, enjoy the tips. <laughs> Not wrong. Fun part is we all agree, too. Oh God. <laughs> all right, so they're all gonna be wearing the MXM masks. It looks like a helico, not Antonio, but I digress. PM News. Ashley Arthur, really? Just Jeff. Oh, God. Rick a bone zone.
Okay. All right, cut out the front, no arms. I'm guessing that might be Bowen's there. Okay. That just reminds me too much of uh, Vince's reaction to that. Vince, Jerry Lawler, every other crap pot. Simon Miller? Oh, it's Billy. Oh God. I didn't I didn't think about that. He is in decent shape, I'll say that. No rapid, just clean it house. And this crowd is getting milder by the match. Which I can sort of understand. It is the double taping here, but... Damn, that sucks. So, oh no, they're going to rip the jacket. All right. It's just bare. Can, can I just throw that there, that word? Does that word apply? Bleh. All right, so we're getting... We're getting the strap match next, which is probably going to get, I would say, probably a good 15 minutes. With introductions and everything, probably about 10. I would just say, I'm going to throw a couple minutes ads here just to, you know, so we don't miss it together here. Trying to get all these ads out of the way can get a little frustrating and all, but... But yeah, just... It, it's a little bit... Uh, I can see where people are saying this show has fallen flat a little bit. There hasn't been anything that's really gripped me and said, let's go. Maybe a little bit of the trios match. The... Uh, the luchador match there was okay but the story with wheeler and in the rest of uh the former bcc whatever the hell they're going to be called that's turning out okay but overall really you're not seeing as much 
like this is basically a rampage plus in some ways here and, and it's frustrating to see because it has been good it just these last few weeks when they haven't had a chance to build anything up and they just got to go big show to big show to big show to big show and we're not talking about paul white it just it, it gets frustrating to check out and and i don't blame people for not checking this out sometimes we're still going to because i i thoroughly enjoy watching wrestling but if the product's going to be more like this, I might have to start consider picking spots a little bit more here as to when we watch it. Like, I hate crapping on a program, but at the same time, if the show's garbage, I, I do appreciate you guys coming to check things out with me, whether it's live or whether it's VOD, whether it's on YouTube. Which, just a reminder, starting on Wednesday, we are going to be streaming to YouTube as well. So, uh, join us uh, on Backbreaker Video on YouTube. As we will uh, check things out. And thank you guys to get your thoughts. Get, some of your friends aren't familiar with Twitch and don't want to be a part of it. But it seems like everybody's involved in YouTube. So, uh, we will only be doing the sidecast part on youtube for the wwe 2k24 segments after that will be exclusive to twitch for being broadcast live so if people want to take part in it they can take part of it as the as the show's going on sort of a little reward for you guys for being here for so long from the beginning just sticking around and enjoying things with us here But yeah, we got half an hour here left on collision and two more matches, so. Oh, there we go. Now we're. I love Juice where the where the that that is an outfit. Where the suspenders and the checkered jet checkered shirt. Juice Robinson, Rachel Elring, two people that know how to keep their part in these matches. I'd love to say there's a bigger one, but there really isn't. Jared's face run. I don't know if anybody ever believed it would ever happen. He hasn't had a face run since 2003, back in I don't know why Jarrett would consider this his match. I think he'd probably want to do something a little more. Oh, here we go.
And of course, Jarrett's going to get thrown to the outside. Nobody's going to do anything. There we go. Now the crowd started to clap a little more. The Bang Bang Gang just going ape shit on the other side. It's like, you guys can't even do anything right. Nope, sharpshooter. <laughs> well, that was smart. That's a couple of whacks that'll wake you up. All right, here we go. Picture a picture here. Now they're not doing the picture a picture for us. Okay, I can live with that. I I love how Menards tried to try to play up the heel commentator a little bit. I love Juice's commentary on the outside. It's like, throw him out. We need him now. We need him now. Get him now. Now I'm going to dump him over the top. Yep. Oh, God. Jared with three more shots. The crowd hates. The crowd absolutely hates this right now. And I it makes sense in a way. Once again, everybody, thank you for stopping by. I truly do appreciate it. As we're running through here on collision here this week. Juice is just lined up ready to go. And their feed just went. Their feed just went into rewind. Hit me again. Oh my God, they're on a loop. All right, things are fixed now. Maybe. 
Oh my god! The video died or what the hell? So they just went to a picture and picture again? Ah, uh, good old pr Like, seriously. Next Wednesday is five years on TV. Shit like this can't happen. I, I know that I had... To, I know I've been on stream for five years and I had to kick off the stream and kick back on. But that was tech... That was technical stuff. I'm sorry. That just... That just happens. Now they flip back to this segment here where Jared... They keep trying to chase Jared out of the ring here. Yep. They're replaying the picture picture segment. Ah, for five cents, guys. So yeah, the video is going to be all over the place on this one. I guarantee you that. We'll have to see what happens when uh, when we get back for the break here, because this just looks dumb. goody sorry I get some stupid stuff here I'm just waiting for this alright here we go like now we're getting to the point right where we were supposed to get back off of it so let's see how this goes nope they decided to go to full commercial And people wonder why they get frustrated about watching Collision. I don't think I've seen this happen on Dynamite, but whoever's doing production on this needs to get shot or sent out, sent outside the ring with these strap guys. Uh, I'm almost tempted to do the cheap plugs here instead of after, but... It's almost as if TNT wasn't ready for the for the breaks, but it doesn't even match up properly, so. We'll have to see how things go here. Hopefully, everything lines up now, and then we don't get too much of an overrun here with the uh, Okada-Guevara match. There we go. Now we're back. Only three. Blocked himself from going outside. Satin him, hit him. The juice said to hell with that idea. Well, we got our next feud. Jared with a dive? 
All right, that was worth waiting. I'm surprised they didn't give Satnam the opportunity to hit him with a hit him with a strap. That would have been the biggest slap in the world there. Karen's going in. If you're not going to get her out, I will. All right, there's a receipt or two or three or six. Now he's eating them. Look at that back on Hangman. No! Low blow coming. Yeah, saw that coming a million miles away. And that'll be it. See, if that was me, once the bell goes, I'd be in there strapping the hell out of them. I'm not allowed to be in there af during the match, but after? Screw that, let's go. We got feud number three coming out, whatever's gonna end this. Okay, we got our next feud. Juice and Hangman. Juice and Hangman. I can live with that. All right, so we're getting our AEW commercials in, getting a main event. So yeah, uh, main event's coming up here in just a moment. I'm just going to throw, well, I'll give you guys a rundown of what's going to be happening here in the next few days. I will throw a minute of ads so we can avoid uh, having to miss out on the finish of the main here. Uh, hope to be on tomorrow morning. Look at it, probably going to get some Street Fighter Six in tomorrow morning. We haven't been to the Fight Club in a while, and... Before the NFL gets going, uh, let's see if we can get a couple hours in and maybe try out Terry and see if he's a little decent. And then uh, I'll be back on Monday night. It's going to be TBA what we're doing. 
starting next week, uh, October 6th, when Raw goes to two hours, right after Raw is done, we're going to be on here with uh, Mutant Football League, which uh, is going to be a lot of fun. We're going to get a season in here. That's our spooky game for the month. Tuesday's a TBA. Just want to make sure I got everything caught up. Wednesday, we're going to be here for the fifth anniversary of AEW Dynamite, both on Twitch and or YouTube. Then after that, we're going to be recording the first two weeks of season three of uh, 2K24, my GM mode. Due to the fact that uh, Bad Blood is on Saturday, we're going to do a double taping here on Tuesday. Actually, the first three Tuesdays, we're going to be doing a double taping here. Next week, it's because of uh, a Wrestle Dream coming up on the Saturday. And then following that, the following week is going to be Battle of the Belts. So we're going to have three weeks in a row. We're going to do a double taping. That third one's going to be on the Tuesday. The first one's going to be right before Wrestle Dream's on the Tuesday. So we might have something interesting going on on the Wednesdays. So stay tuned. Uh, thinking since we got wrestling on Tuesday, we might move to Wednesday that week, uh, doing the fifth week of uh, 2K24. And then maybe we could switch out to something else here. Would be nice to uh, bump it up a little bit as we go here, but... Uh, all plays out based on that decision that's going to be coming in down from Warner Brothers Discovery and the potential of that contract that should be coming up. So, if that contract comes up and everything's hunky-dory, well, if everything stays as is, we'll, we'll keep going with Collision for right now, see how it goes. We might almost have to, you know, skip collision and start doing more 2k24 instead on the on the saturdays if honestly if the production doesn't improve the last cut the last couple weeks have been slagging a little bit i just hope it's just a little bit of a a lull here right now so i was right including the little uh video snafu it was 15 minutes I love how they do the bills instead of coins because if you do coins you know what's going to happen right everybody's going to get covered in them and it's good people are going to get injured that's right he did get the title at msg Now, I know Sammy's on a bit of a rehab bit and trying to get better. Dust is not allowed to be out there because it is a C2 match, or it's a Continental Cup match, right? I just I don't see this being a main event match yet it is a TV main event I'll give it that Sammy's gonna have to really show up but I don't think anybody expects Sammy to beat Okada here because Okada hasn't lost yet so at least in singles competition he hasn't lost yet so
this time of year i'd almost not want to get a title shot at the continental cup because i'm just gonna have to put it up on the line in a tournament anyway the only advantage it'll give you is the fact that you actually get to get a guaranteed spot in the tournament Kata knows how to sell, that's for sure. I gotta love that little shot there. Shot to the side of the face. Okada's got the skills. It's just he's at that age where things start to slow down a little bit. It's sort of like what happened with AJ Styles. He can still go, and we're going to find out again next week because they just announced last night that he's coming back to TV next week. Which honestly I'm surprised about. I thought he would go to Bound for Glory. Those are some sweet mustaches. Hangman and Juice, that'll be a hell of a matchup. I don't know if I'd want to do that with Okada, though. I, I think this match here, it, it's a good setup with... Oh... Here we go. Okada using the Orange Cassidy technique. I love it. I absolutely love that. And a cutter out of nowhere. Let's just run around, hit cutters everywhere at Randy Orton, eat your heart out. Really good setup there. Ah, night. Nice turnaround here. There. I I got a feel we're doing it over right here, kids. Based on that little TV. Uh, TV snafu that they had, so we're probably going to go five or ten minutes over. I, I would say there'd be a way you have to, because this match, well, you technically there's supposed to be five minutes left. I don't know if we're going to get that at this point, because it's just... a little bit of a glitch here and there, and... Because... Normally, you'd have to have this match in the ring and start even start thinking about going home at this point. Ha! He was going to rip the sign and then he just took it, gave it back to the fan. Now, if I'm him, I go grab the sign and rip it up. But of course not, not gonna do that. Since we're gonna run late, and we're in the middle of picture in picture, let me, uh, 
just gonna throw there's gonna push ads on me here in a little bit here so if i do it quicker we should be able to get through it before the end of the match so i promise for the 2k24 uh segment i will pump out three minutes with ads before we start that way we can uh try to avoid it for the most part it is wrestlemania so we'll be going for a while so Guevara can't even get up on his feet right now. I do like the fact that Guevara's getting pushed to go down to a slower pace right now. And Okada gets those spots where he has to get pushed to a higher pace. I know that Okada's been doing a lot more of that when he's been uh, working with the Bucks now, so once that's all put together, I really do hope that everything like, it does show the entire spectrum what Okada could do, because he is one of the best wrestlers in the world. I think we all we all know that. We just have to, you know for the uninitiated and the people that didn't want to be initiated into it, they get the opportunity now to see it a little bit more up front and just get to see all the advantages going on here. So as we come back from picture to picture here, those who are watching uh, here live, and thank you for uh, sticking stick it out tonight. I've been trying to get a little bit better on the... Uh, on the ads trying to match them up with their commercials so things work better that was inventive it's almost like a flip pile driver head scissor driver okay Rick and Bonnie Oh, Sammy just tried to get shots in and all of a sudden, nope. Whack. Oh, God. He missed him. Sammy just dove right into the guardrail. That's hilarious. Just a thunk. All right, here comes Yo Moonsault. Took too long up there, though, but. Good job on the camera work to pan away from Okada waiting for it. Because if he would have sat there and watched that happen for as long as he did, he should have moved, but... Is he going to do a GTH out here? GTH outside, that would not be fun. Ow! To say the least, that's the way to put that one. I was just a straight old thud right on the stairs. That should have been a ten count already. Hey, 
it, Vic. How you doing tonight, sir? Hope you're having a more exciting night than Collision has been for the most part. I don't know if you got a chance to see any of it tonight so far. Nothing really pops out. Still catching my breath from that opening match. Fair enough, my friend. I would say there's a little bit of excitement there. The trios match was pretty decent. Strap match told a good story. The fact that the, the second story I told is uh, AEW can't uh, get their audio, their video department to work properly on tape shows. Ah, good old Okada. No, I hope you're having a good Saturday. Rainmaker reversed the semi reversed the Rainmaker to a Spanish fly. I'll take that. Just got back from dashing some doors. Ah, around the way collecting pennies. Hey. It's what you got to do. To be honest, tonight you didn't miss a whole lot. Minero Suzuki was here as a opponent against Jack Perry. Perry won by count out. That should tell you all about that. The, uh, the learning tree beat the conglomeration of the trios. And Guevara just ate a rainmaker. Not a bad match. Not definitely gave spotlight to Sammy there, but it It's gonna be fun to watch Wednesday, but tonight the the story with the uh BCC and the uh BCC and the involvement of Yuda just got a little interesting as well. As they literally threw three matches they didn't even get all the matches up advertised for Wednesday before they had to fade to black because they screwed up the video earlier. Let me just close that screen there, move this over here. You dumb computer. There we go. That's better. Yeah. Uh, that opening match is a lot of fun. As expected. Unfortunately, the second match had a table too, which the the trios match with the learning tree here. So it's like what we're getting all the plunder out of the way early. Action of Dreddy, Brody King ended up pretty much the way you expect it. Brody King murdering some young kid. <laughs> I know Action's trying to play it up like he needs to get better and needs to face better game here. Uh, the open challenge, Minoru Suzuki ended up being a count out, which really? Like, I, I know we're supposed to hate count outs, but this is just on another level. And then, yeah, the MXM uh, reveals ended up being Billy Gunn modeling this jacket. And uh, looks like we're probably going to, looks like we're going to get Juice Robinson and Hangman Page on Wednesday, which is going to forward that feud now after what happened tonight. After uh, Hangman stole Juice's strap after he dressed up properly. Shout out to Juice Robinson and Rachel Elring, the two that knew how to dress for the dress for the part. Uh, here on uh, Collision, when it comes to these strap matches or lumberjack matches, for that matter. And then, yeah, that main event, Guevara looked like Guevara looked like he's a few years away from being there, but still, 
pretty damn close to being where we need to be here but all in all okada just looks dominant as usual and they're just basically just trying to feed okada a few matches here until we get to uh until we get to the next c2 here which should be coming up right after full gear in november oh the other big surprise for tonight well medium surprise after suzuki's uh count out uh, loss uh perry started to attack o suzuki again and he was saved by minero uh, not minero uh, katsuri shibata so it looks like we're gonna get uh perry and shibata probably at wrestle dream i'm thinking that probably makes the most sense in this case but yeah well nothing like i said in summary for the tonight not much really to write home about nothing to get overly excited for decent wrestling the wrestling's never been the problem but it's just we're at a point now where we do need to see a little bit more in these shows to me give me a reason to watch you could do as many flip de doos as you want but if if you're not giving me a reason to watch rather than just watching flip de doos we could turn on 2k24 and do the exact same thing <laughs>